Welcome everyone to the March 28th uh, solos recital. I'm so happy you're here and I'm really excited to get started and um, I'm assuming everyone is tuned up and remembering to be far enough away from the screen so we can see what your hands are doing, okay? We want to see the whole artistry. Uh, great, and then, um, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to jump right in. So when it's your turn, just unmute your screen, unless you want me to try to do it for you. Try best if you do it for yourself. And then um, let us know what you're going to play and jump in. We are going to start with a beautiful Bach piece. In fact, today we are starting and ending with a Bach piece. So Brett, please welcome to the Zoom stage. I'm going to be playing Minuet number one, Memorize. Bravo. Whew. Thank you, Brett. And by the way, I really like your shirt. Yes. <laughs> so Brett and Dawn, what are you going to play for us now? We are going to play Allegro harmony and melody part. Mommy and I know part. I'm doing the harmony, uh, the, the melody side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm doing the harmony and mommy doing the melody. Thank you so much for that and love the bow. That is a very classy touch. Thank you both. Whew. And now please welcome to the stage, Miss Grace Peterson. Grace, take it away. Hi, I'm Grace and I will be playing Musette by Bach. Thank you. 
Hey, beautiful. Aha, Grace, thank you. Right on. Is that one of your favorite pieces so far that you've played? Wonderful. Well, thank you again. Oh, my goodness. I have the most supportive students in this studio. People just clapping for each other and just, you know, cheerleading each person as they evolve and emerge in their their own artistry. I love I love this business. <laughs> All right, Jackson. Jackson, you are up. Welcome to the Zoom stage. You'll just want to un unmute yourself first. Is mom is mom there? My name is Jackson. I'm going to be playing How Far I'll Go from Moana. Was that a difficult piece to learn, Jackson? You might have gone off the, uh, <laughs> you might have gone on mute. Um, so Jackson learned, you learned this piece pretty easily. And then when you really went back and listened to somebody singing it, because not all these pieces are singing pieces, right? But this one is. Yes. Was it easy to find a way to play it as if someone was singing it? Well, your expression sounded like someone singing it because um, I saw some people kind of singing along. Great job, Jackson. Okay, who, who do we have next? Let's see, I'm going back to my gallery view. We've got Miss Chelsea Lee. Welcome to the Zoom stage, Miss Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea, what are you going to play today? Which is dance. Okay.
Bravo. Chelsea, thank you. All right, we just dance. Boy, you played it so cleanly too. Thank you. Yeah, great job. All right, next to the Zoom stage, please welcome Sanaya Wilkins Jones. Hi, Sanaya. Hi. Sanaya, you're going to be playing a piece out of one of my favorite music books. What are you going to share today? All the Pretty Horses. And, and is Aria going to um, sing along? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sanaya. Damn. That is a, a gorgeous duet. So sometime maybe you or I or some other students will get to, you know, share the duet version of that. So can you tell that I love duets? <laughs> All right, you guys. So there's three people who weren't able to make it to two days recital and they worked on their piece, they recorded it, and they put it on YouTube for us. So at this point, I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to uh, share with you uh, a song that Isabel worked up. So um, bear with me, this is kind of the first day of screen sharing. So uh, hold on for a moment here. Let's see. Share sound. Okay. Hopefully, you guys can all see this. We're going to make this larger. Okay. Here we go with Miss Isabel. Hi, everyone. This is Isabel here. I am so sorry to miss our concert, but I'm sure all of you have wonderful performances. Um, I am currently just about to leave to go to Oregon to try to catch this swell that's coming in and surf it. So I um, am very bummed though to miss it. Uh, today I'm going to be playing I Lived by One Republic. And um, I just love this song. I think the lyrics, I just, you know, I wish it upon everyone. So yeah, here it goes. When you take that jump, don't fear the fall. Hope when the water rises, you will build a wall. Hope when the crowd screams out, they're screaming your name. Hope if everybody.
Thank you guys, I miss you all, and I hope you have an amazing concert. <sighs> all right, oh my goodness. Okay, screen share number one was a success. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go, guys, I'm gonna go right back to um, the next um, artist who was not able to be with us due to a, um, a family emergency, but um, she 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 created some space and and recorded this piece. So uh, kudos to Amanda. Um, thinking about her family, and um, she is going to be right up here. So I'm going to just um, announce what piece she's playing, and then I'm going to um, and then flip the screen. She is going to play the um, the first movement from a concerto, and concertos start in book four. Anybody doing the Suzuki method? So uh, this is the first movement from the Seitz Concerto in D major. Okay, let's see. Make this big. Here we go. My name's Amanda and I'm playing the third movement of the Seitz Concerto in G major.
Thank you. All right. Woo. Gorgeous. It's, it's fun to see people starting to work their way up the neck in um, doing uh, different finger positions. So that was definitely um, a good example of that, right? So I have one more um, person who basically phoned it in. Um, Marcus came back a couple months ago and he's been playing um, a lot more guitar. So um, he was in the mountains with his family this, this, uh, this weekend. So I'm gonna do one more uh, virtual, virtual, virtual. And then, um, yeah, so please enjoy this. This is going to be uh, from Chris Stapleton. Let me see. Da, da, da. This one? No, this one. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm sharing. And I'm going to, and straight from a trailer in the mountains, please welcome Marcus Powell.
Tennessee whiskey. Thank you, thank you. I hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. And I think Marcus even jumped in the show here. Marcus, are you back from uh, from the mountains? We are back. We, we just got, we just made it back like about an hour ago. Okay, very cool. Okay. It popped you right, right at the nick of time. Yeah, no kidding. What are the odds? <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you so much for being willing to, to share that with us. And uh, heck yeah, that was cool. I'm trying to get back to the gallery, gallery, gallery view. Oh, I'm going to stop screen sharing for a minute. Oh, hi, everybody. <sighs> okay. Uh, so that was the three people that couldn't make it, but they were kind enough to to, to make their videos and sh they really wanted to be here today. So um, they kind of were, right? They kind of were with us. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on and I'm going to welcome back a violin player, Miss Nellia Beeman, to the Zoom studio yeah. here. Welcome, Nellia. Hi, my name is Nellia and today I will play a sonatina by Handel. Nelia, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Ooh. All right. Boy, sounding really good on that violin as well. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, villagers, once again. I love coming back to my gallery view. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'd like to welcome Sophia. Sophia, what have you got for us today? Um, I'm going to be playing Minuet in G by Beethoven. Okay. And oh, you're going to stand perfect. Oh, wait. So maybe you know how we want to see everything you're playing. So yeah, exactly. Yeah.
Sophia. All right. Man, that was a lot of articulation in a piece like that. Uh, so um, where is Alan? Alan? Alan, I was gonna I was gonna have you in a different part of the, the program and then I got in back into classical style. Would um would you mind jumping in here and playing your, your iris pieces for us? Sure. Okay. How's the audio? The audio is actually really clean. Okay. Yeah. Um and I just want to make sure we can see you, you know, you're back far enough so we can see what you're doing. I'll sit back when I get the the, the thing. Okay, tell us what you're up to. So I'm going to play, attempt to play, a couple of Irish fiddle tunes. First one is called Morrison's Jig. Um, on the web, I found out that James Morrison was a respected Irish fiddler who came to America, where he became a music teacher. Uh, they sent recordings of his playing back home to Ireland, and fiddlers stopped playing their local style and started playing this guy's style because it was so popular and they liked it so much. Um, and, and their styles just sort of went out of fashion. Um, often the songs were played in the same order or grouping as the original recordings. So if you go on the web, they're clumped together the same way he originally recorded them. And after all this, the guy didn't write the song. Morrison's jig is, is actually a, a copy of a traditional tune according to the web, called Stick Across the Hog. Didn't know that. Oh, enough here. I didn't know that. Yeah. The second one is uh, The Road to Liz Dunvarna. Uh, it's a traditional Irish tune. Uh, the first website said that it wasn't a normal jig, it was a slide. And so I tried to look up what a slide was. It said a slide is a tune that's often confused with a jig. So <laughs> that wasn't much help. Um, <laughs> On one site, um, it said that a, both a slide and a jig have fewer strong beats and a more flowing feel. Uh, and on one site where there were very experienced violinists arguing, uh, there was a quote from one of them. And the quote is that one of, uh, a double jig goes rickety clickety rackety jiggity and a single jig or a slide goes amber nectar table rickety. There you have it. <laughs> See if I can get through these. Can you see that? Okay. the second one will do better. Thank you. 
strong finish. <laughs> Thank you for all that, Alan. Very cool. It's a, a, a lot of quick string changes. And, um, you know, just to speak to that, to that Irish style, Alan, you've got to, um, um, Alan's got to make very, lots of very short bow changes. And it's um, going to close. Thank you for that. Okie dokie. So uh, we have got one more student and then a couple other musical offerings going on. So I'm going to welcome Ava. Um, and Ava is, hi Ava. Let me get you back to speaker view here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so I want to just say one thing about this piece um, in the Suzuki violin method this used to be the um, the teacher graduation piece people who wanted to become a teacher of this um, style of, of um, pedagogy and um, so you know you could already be starting your own students if you wanted to you know play this piece for the committee I guess and then um, start a st start your studio there's a little more to it, but it's just, it's very cool. A, a nice little like benchmark um, completing book three in this, in this series of 10 books. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be playing Bray by Bach. Thank you. 
Voila. Beautiful. Thank you, Ava. Whew, that's a good workout, yeah? <laughs> awesome job with that. Oh, holy smokes. Well, um, boy, time flies. And thank you all for these beautiful offerings today. You really took the idea of channeling the spring to heart and um, sharing your best. I have a piece I'd like to share before I introduce our mystery special musical guest to round out our program today. Um, I'm going to finish up with some Bach as well. And here's a piece I've been cleaning up from, from book five of the uh, Suzuki series. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be like the person on the screen. So we might, I might just turn it to gallery view to make it easy. Let's see, where are you all? Okay, there you all are. Okay, I've never played you a classical piece on the violin before and um, I've only been teaching for like a certain amount of years. So it's only fair, right? All right, here's a, a gavotte, which is a, um, which is a, a lovely uh, a dance piece from, from J.S. Bach.
Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Oh, yeah. Classical music is fun. Okay. So, uh, I, I promised you that I had a special musical guest today. And um, some of you may recognize this lovely couple. Uh, we play music on stage together and we are currently recording a new album. I'm very excited to say. So um, dear, dear friends and, and fantastic musicians, I hope you come find us later in the year when we can gather again. Also, we do run a music camp. A couple of you know that about that already. So um, yeah, if anybody's inclined toward folk music, these are the people to, to be working with. And without further ado, please welcome Margie and Paul. Hi guys. Um, yeah, you might have to unmute yourself. Okay, I think we're unmuted now. Yes. Are we unmuted? Yes. Uh, I, I just got to say that uh, that's a lot of notes in that last thing you played. <laughs> <laughs> you all played so beautifully. And I think it's so amazing that you have all these great students. I'm going to speak to the students for a moment. That you have the opportunity to learn to play. It doesn't matter what kind of music you're playing but that you get to learn to play and you have such a wonderful teacher who uh, nurtures you. And believe me, being a teacher and being um, nurturing to your students is not always an easy thing. So appreciate the uh, wonderful uh, teaching that Kathy brings to you. So, and because we're watching a lot of you play and, and what a fun thing that is, right? And Kathy, don't forget, we've got a show that they all your students can watch on April 11th. Yes, thank you for that. I will make sure everyone has the link for that. Thank you. Great. That'll and be just play and play from your heart, enjoy it. And it'll bring you a lifelong uh, gift of fun. And if, I've been playing since I was Music. I've been playing music since I was, I don't know, nine, eight. <clears throat> I played accordion first and I played guitar. Kathy played violin when she was five, I think. Is that right? And Margie was playing recorder and violin and piano as a child. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how good you are or not. It's just the joy of music and being able to play <clears throat> because I spend a lot of time with myself playing my guitar and just enjoying it, <laughs> right? So uh, uh, we thought this might be a nice song for the springtime. This is a song that Paul wrote. This is called Rain and Thunder. <laughs> Rain, rain, rain and thunder, wake the thirsty earth from slumber. Rain, rain, rain and thunder falling on the ground. Rain, 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 and, rain and thunder, wake the thirsty earth from slumber. Rain, rain, rain and thunder falling on the ground. I'm the all around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that the springtime? Spring time. Spring time. Spring time. Uh, when did you well, write that song? You guys were awesome and wonderful. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. What a treat. Aw. Well, guys, we can't let the music um, momentum end. Um, many of you remember that we have our annual tribute to the moms concert coming up on Saturday. May, uh, May 8th. So make sure that's in your, your calendar. And we're gonna do this like the um, family band again, where you, you look into your home and, and su see who might like to join you on a piece. You are invited to do, do that or to do a solo piece, no pressure. Um, but we always like to create some fun for our winter program and our, and our spring um, tribute to the moms program that way. And as Margie said, I'm gonna be pushing out a, uh, an invite to a concert that um, Paul, Margie and I, uh, who make up the trio Golden Bow, are gonna be offering next month coming up. So thank you all again, and I will see you in your spots for lessons starting tomorrow. Once, how about a big round of applause for everybody that joined us today? Just, I'm so proud of you all. All right. Love to all. See you soon. See you. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>